Hey guys, so in this video, I'm talking about how to set up a VPN proxy. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be using ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark, and I'll include some discount links in the description below in case you decide that you do want to get them at any point in the video. Now, maybe you don't know what a VPN is or what a proxy is, so I just wanted to explain it. Basically, a VPN and a proxy are very similar, but a VPN does more. A proxy will make it seem as if you're in a different location when you're using the internet. So let's say you wanted to access streaming content content that's only available in a different country, let's say you're on Netflix and you can't find a certain show, but you know that it's offered somewhere else, you can use a proxy to make it seem as if you're in a country where that content's offered so that when you go to Netflix, Netflix will think that you're there and they will give you access to that show. And basically that is all a proxy does. A VPN will do that. It will make it seem as if you're in a different location, but on top of that, it will also give you way more privacy and security when you're using the internet because a VPN will increase all your information basically it will make it that nobody can access your information when you're using the internet and nobody can see or get any of your user data or your records now with ExpressVPN it's really simple once you open it up you have this kind of very clean interface you just click on the locations and then you have a list of all of the recommended locations here all of the favorites and pretty much all of the locations that ExpressVPN offers here so that's a hundred and five countries with three thousand plus services servers so you can get them here and let's say you wanted to connect to a server in Japan we can just click on it and you'll see that we're connecting and now we're connected to a server in Japan so if I wanted to access let's say Amazon Prime video content that would only be available in Japan or any other streaming platform I could go to that website now and they would think that I'm in Japan and give me access to that entire library of content this can also be really useful for gaming if you're trying to connect to a server that's closer to the gaming server and potentially reduce your ping and also for accessing pretty much any website let's say gambling or cryptocurrency websites that will be limited based on your location you can use a vpn for all of that now with surfshark it's pretty similar so let's disconnect here and we go to surfshark now in this panel we have all of our locations and we can pretty much just click on any of them we can also click on these arrows and get more locations within the country and you can do that in express two and so let's say we can click on Perth here you'll see in the right side panel we're connecting and in just a second we will have a lot of information about our connection live as it's going on so here you have all that information you see our new IP address how much we've uploaded and downloaded what protocol we're using which means like basically how the VPN is keeping our data safe and all of that good stuff here over in NordVPN, we have this really cool map interface and we can click on any of these nodes. So let's say we can click here for Malta and we'll be connected. You'll see here we're connecting. We're going to connect to a server in Malta. And if you also wanted, you can go down to more connection options and you will have a list here. You can scroll down and we will have the entire list of servers. NordVPN has 111 countries with about 6,000 plus servers. So you're getting a lot with Nord. Now that's pretty much it for getting the equivalent of a proxy with a VPN, because basically all we need to do is change our location. That's what a proxy does. It makes it seem as if we're now in Malta or Australia or wherever we are, and it makes it seem as if we're in that location. That's what a proxy does, and that's what a VPN would do if you're using it as a proxy. But again, a VPN does more than that because a VPN has security features. Like I mentioned over here in Surfshark, we have the protocols. So if I would go into the options and express here, and I would go to this tab, have protocols we would have several protocol options so what the protocol does is encrypt our data and make sure that it's safe as it's traveling over the internet and no hackers or people with any malicious intent can get at our information now with expressvpn i generally recommend the lightweight protocol with surfshark you saw before there there was the wireguard protocol that's the one that i generally recommend and with nordvpn it would be the nord links protocol and that's not it. Each of these VPNs offers way more security features on top of a regular proxy. You can see here that NordVPN has a double VPN feature, which would basically make it much harder for anybody to track you down. You have here in Surfshark, the multi-hop and dedicated IP. You have all these features that will just increase the level of security that you'll have over the internet way more than a regular proxy. And I'm gonna include links to full reviews of Express, NordVPN, and Surfshark in the description in case you wanted to find out more about these features and how they work. But in general, that is how you would use a VPN as a proxy. Again, if you wanna try out these VPNs, I have a discount link for you in the description that will save you some extra money thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day